Can you speak a little bit about what the application process was like for you as, as she did? In other words, how long before the application deadline did you start working on it? How many drafts did you go through? How many people did you get looking at your application or any other information that you may find relevant? So I would say that my successful application was in some ways two years in the making. Um, I first applied to the pre-doctoral fellowship um, the, my senior year of undergrad while I was applying to graduate school. Um, and at the time, I really I did it rather blindly. The whole process just kind of on my own. Um, and I, I was fortunate I got sort of the honorable mention or whatever that kind of... Um, Know, good try. <laughs> um, and one of the great things about the Ford, unlike other applications, is that you can request feedback. Now, the feedback sheet is sort of like one sheet, and it's just a matter of check marks and, a, you know, and these different rubrics. But if you know how to read that feedback, it really gives you an idea of how to cater your application the next go around. And I want to stress that just because you don't get one of these applications the first time around does not mean that you should not. In many ways, it means that you should definitely, because I've only already done this once, and so you're already at advantage than other people who are doing it for the first time. So I applied to the um, fellowship, uh, uh, the, the pre-doctoral again, the fall of my first year of graduate school, and ultimately received it in the spring, very, very fortunately so. Uh, my process of composing it was, was really long. Um, I remember starting a draft of it over the summer, uh, before applying that fall. And I remember kind of really struggling to articulate what project I wanted to put together. And literally the first week of, first or second week of the fall semester, I went to an event at the English department with some featured Caribbean writers, and it all clicked at that meeting. I was like, okay, this is, okay, this is, I know what direction I want to take. And so at that point, I, I kind of rewrote everything anew in a matter of a week or two, and then I really started exchanging the materials with my advisor pretty much every week, if not every week and a half, up through the deadline. Um, as far as who all saw my application materials in one form or another, my advisor countless times, um, everyone who wrote the letter of recommendation saw both some earlier iteration and the final version of the application. Um, I spoke with folks who I knew had received the fourth product form in the past. I, of course, met with the grad fund, um, and I remember specifically in my meeting with the grad fund because I had been working so diligently with people in my field, people who did literary and cultural studies, and one of the things that the grad fund really pushed me to think about was kind of speaking to a broader audience. That was something I kind of had overlooked, kind of being siloed with all my, you know, my, my advisor and this or whatnot, and I remember making certain strategic changes in the application to make it speak to a broader audience, and I think that really did make a difference. Uh, so I'd say drafted some version of the summer that kind of really got revamped in the fall, but yeah, uh, several weeks, if not months, in the making for sure. 